Hi there, it's Cherie here from SpiceFitness.com and I'm taking you to a basic beginner workout that you can do on your bed. So all you need for this is a bed and uh, I think we've all got a bed of some kind. So you might want your pillow there as well. So we're going to start with lying down. Now if you're somebody with a bad scoliosis, you may not be able to go onto your back. So that's okay. You can still do this lying here. You're just going to slightly roll onto your back, but not all the way onto your back and onto the side again. So you're not going all the way onto your back. For those of you who can, and most of you won't have a scoliosis or no reason why you can't, we're just going to roll side to side. So those knees, taking them over, right over to one side, keep your head down on the pillow and roll to the other side. Now, if this is too easy for you and you want to make it a bit harder, you can take your legs down straight and pretend that you've got a spinal fracture and we're log rolling you. So hands here, so you can't use your hands and legs to help you. We're gonna go side to side. Rolling one side to the other. For some of you, you're gonna find this quite hard to do. Sit one side to the other. Beautiful, and one more. Lovely. Good, it may seem like a very basic thing, but it's a great thing to be able to do in your bed. Next one, we're gonna work through our hamstrings and glutes. I want these feet as close to your bum as you can have. And we're gonna roll through the vertebrae, vertebrae by vertebrae, lift the tailbone up, and then going all the way up into the air and squeezing these glute cheeks, like we've got a big fart in there and we just need to hold on tight. Now this is gonna help you again if you have to go into hospital and you need to lift up for a pan or even just to do it to keep strong and, and firm in there, you know, just to make yourself do some work. Now, as we go down, vertebrae by vertebrae, tailbone comes down and we rest. Let's go up again, tailbone comes up first, pressing up, vertebrae by vertebrae, coming up. If you wanna work this harder while you're up here, you can lift one leg, one leg. You should be feeling then the one where you lift up the leg, this leg that's on the floor is gonna work harder. But if your back complains, just stay with your two feet and we're gonna come all the way down. Beautiful. Now we're gonna take, so if you had a little weight here, you don't need a weight, but if you wanted a weight, just bring your arm out to the side. You can be using a little milk container here or even a drink container. And we're just doing some lifts. Try and keep this elbow out to the side if you can, but if you can't, you can bring it in here. We're just doing some work into the front of our shoulder and into our chest. So lifting this up, let's do just another couple here. That's it, and going to the other side. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's do another couple. Lovely, take that weight down. Now we're gonna pretend that we're trying to reach something up on a high shelf, but we're lying on our bed to do so. So you can use this other elbow while I take this arm up and you're just gonna try and reach up. Now you may not be able to come far up off of the floor. You may not be able to come all the way up to here. If you can do so, and then rolling all the way back down. But if you can't, you can just do a little lift up. <coughs> Coming slightly onto that elbow and a slight, slight lift up. Little lift. You should feel all these abdominals working quite hard. Let's change the other arm. Gonna lift up slightly here or you can come right up to here, depending on what you can do. Otherwise, just a small lift and a small, you may even find that too hard with your arm up, so that may be enough to just come up on your elbow. So just a li little lift up on your elbow, little, little lift on, on your elbow, elbow and elbow. Lovely, and the next one that we're doing is a plank. Oh, actually, let's do our, um, our thigh lift first. So. I'm gonna keep my head down on the pillow. I'm gonna take my bottom leg under. My top leg is gonna be extended out and I'm just gonna lift up my leg. So you can leave this as far up in the ground um, air as you can, or you can take it down to the floor. You're gonna work harder if you leave your leg up in the air. And I can feel my side bottom working. And then from here, take it around in one direction, little circles, take it around the other way and guarantee you'll feel your gluteus working that attaches into our hip. Great. And then from here, we're gonna take that top leg over to the back, bottom leg comes out, and we're gonna do that lift again. Lovely. Good, so if you felt like you wanted to take a little drink container or something and lie it over your leg, you can to make that inner thigh work a bit harder. Otherwise, 
we're working against the weight of the leg anyway. If you've got big legs, you're already gonna be working it harder anyway. And some tiny little circles there and tiny little circles back. Good. Then we're gonna roll over to the other side. I'm gonna switch my pillow around. You'll just turn it to the other side, but then you'll be looking at my bum. And I'm sure you don't wanna be doing that. We're coming up to our last one here. So again, lying down comfortably. You're gonna have rolled to the other side. I'm just gonna take that bottom leg under, top leg. I'm just gonna do some little side leg lifts. You can almost go to sleep here. Quite nice. Lovely little circles around. And little circles back. Lovely. Then we're gonna take that top foot over behind that bottom leg. That bottom leg extends out and we're just gonna do some little leg lifts. Beautiful. And then around and around the other way. And we are done. I hope you've enjoyed that. There is far more to be done, but this is a basic beginner's one. And I hope you've just felt a few of your body mu mu muscles working up. I'm wondering whether to do a back one, actually. Sorry to add to this before we finish. So let's just put this pillow back around because that's the way that my pillow was. So before you end, I'm just going to get you to just lie down with your forehead on your pillow. Um, let's actually take our hands underneath our chin and just li li lifting up slightly off the pillow and bringing these elbows back, coming back down. You can pop your hands there if you want. Coming back up off the pillow, bringing these shoulder blades back. Back, hands on the pillow and down. Can we come up one more time? And I don't want your head to the side when you lift, I want it to the front. So from here, coming up, squeezing these shoulder blades back. I want you to squeeze these bum cheeks as well. And don't try and stare too far ahead, but down at your pillow and come down. Okay, that's a few basic stuff that you can be doing on your bed at home. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, tune in for more of stuff at spicefitness.com and we'll see you next time.